Hello everyone and welcome back to BMW Pokemon. I'd like to apologize for last week I didn't end up um, uploading a video because I was a little bit busy getting back to work. I had to drop off my car to the garage for some repairs. Um, I also was taking care of my daughter on my days off so I couldn't get around to filming a video for you guys. But uh, we're not going to do a collection update this video because I actually haven't received any new cards for the collection um, in the mail or anything like that recently. I um, actually cycled some cards out of the collection for to help pay for the auto repairs. They were a little bit of a, a little bit higher than I was expecting. Um, and I actually um, opened up an elite trainer box and popped in those eight packs to the ultimate card opening. So that will put us at one pack away from the ultimate card opening. I'm just going to pop a Darkness Ablaze pack in there, and we'll be ready to do that um, next week. We'll do a Darkness Ablaze booster box, and this week. We're going to be opening up a bunch of these double packs from I got from GameStop. And so the week after next, that'll actually be the week we do the ultimate card opening with various packs like Burning Shadows, Darkness Blaze, um, Sword and Shield, Team Up, Cosmic Eclipse, stuff like that. Um, I already ended up opening up the first pack on another take, and I didn't like that take, so we started over. Um, so there's the, the green code card. And so we know this first pack is going to be a great pack to start the video off with. Um, Pokemon Center Lady, Energy Retrieval, Ferrothorn, Sizzlipede, Galarian Zigzagoon, Muna, Snom, Garuki, Seeking Reverse, and a Cloyster. Alright. That was a Short and Shield pack, so we'll get on to a Darkness Blaze back here. Still some pretty good hype going on with the Darkness of Blaze for the, the Charizards and there's some actually some some pretty good other cards, the playable cards, Crobat and stuff like that in the set. Um, Dartrix, Dedeen, Bird Keeper, Dunsparce, Clink, Marini, Torchic, Starly, Reverse Mimikyu, and a Volcarona. I'm sorry I haven't gotten a new playmat in a while. I'm actually going to be cycling this Hidden Fates playmat out of rotation after this week because I don't have any Hidden Fates left to open up. So we shall retire that. And I'll be looking for some new playmats. Maybe they'll come out with a Champion's Path playmat in a some sort of premium collection box, Great Ball Reverse, and an Inteleon. So we'll see. I'll keep my eyes op open for some really nice play mats. Maybe they'll have a exclusive shiny Charizard play mat for the new the new set coming out here. Heat Energy, Relicant, Zwellius. Wishy Washy, Cufant, Sinisty, Feebas, Pissimian, a Reverse Bird Keeper, and a Diggersby. So far, no hits. No real big heavy hitters yet. So, hopefully, we get one pretty soon. I'm actually watching a video earlier today discussing how Champion's Path might not be as hype as Hidden Fates was because there were so many hits in Hidden Fates it feels like that you could just get a hit in any pack that you opened but there might not be nearly as many hits in Champion's Path but I guess we'll have to find out when we open up some on the channel. Corvusquire, Nicket, Bonsweet, Snubble, Meltan, Bunnelby, Meltan Reverse, and a Serena, or Serena, rather. Gonna have to get a Gold Zashian, Zashian card here to make up for the uh, lack of hits, hopefully. Hopefully. 
Citrus Berry, Quillfish, Energy Switch, Pharaoh Seed, Krabby, Galarian Zigzagoon, Gossiflor, Silly Cobra, a Reverse Shelter, and Lantern. I feel like everyone is getting hyped up about the pull rates on these double packs initially. You know, it could be hit or miss. You could get a lot of, you know, a bunch of packs that have, you know, good pulls in them. Or you could get a bunch of packs that have nothing. That's why I like the the randomness of a booster box. You kind of get the most even distribution of rares. A reverse Marini and a hollow Suicune. Yeah. You know, but you can't escape the value. You can't deny that the $4 MSRP for these double packs is not appealing. Galarian Linen, Rodon Bike, Drizzle, Yamper, Clubopus, Cottony, Chewdle, Rhyhorn, a Reverse Clay Doll, and a Holographic Caparaja. Yeah, I heard the uh, GameStop exclusive card only got. They had a Caparaja exclusive card and it got pulled from the shelves, so I might see if I can't get a few of those. We'll see. I have a bunch of the Snubble promo cards. Um, but that one I don't think was as sought after. Reverse Parasect and a Flygon. I wish they'd come out with a GameStop exclusive EX or GX or V. That would be really cool. Probably hold a little bit of value. I did see that they might be including Alakazam in one of the next sets. An Alakazam V card. So that's really exciting. I'm definitely going to get my hands on one of those. But Evolution Intense, Silazzle, Mincio, Chinchow, Krogunk, Galarian Meowth, Score Bunny, a Reverse Turtonator, and a, another Holographic Caparaja. Not bad. Better than nothing, I guess. Better than no hits at all. Maybe I'll build a nice deck based off of Caparaja. Get the promo card going. We'll see. Nicket, Shelmet, Larvitar, Grimer, Galarian Darmaka, a reverse Nicket, and a Talon Flame. I feel like playable cards might actually be worth more money if the game was actually able to be played in person. But, not sure about that. Gossiflor, Silly Cobra, Yamper, Krabby, a Reverse Finchino, Cinch and a Dreadnought. Darkness Blaze here, Dino, Passimian, Bunnelby, Vanillite, a Reverse Claim, and an Eternatus V Ultra Rare card right there. Our first real hit of the, the opening right there. We've only got a couple of packs left, so hopefully we get a couple more hits there. I'll pop a sleeve on Eternatus real quick. Got a fresh pack of sleeves here. I ended up giving uh, one of my packs of sleeves to my I guess step nephew and uh, one pack of sleeves to my friend who was starting a collection with his son so that he could get going with that a 
Hope you guys are getting some good pulls from these Pokemon TCGO codes. Getting some good gameplay in there during these trying times. Galarian, Mr. Rhyme. Dropped our last pack on the floor. Rip PSA 10, as they say. Energy Search, Team Yelgren, Drizzle, Silly Cobra, Mincino, Vulpix, Muna, Roselia, a Reverse Gossiflor, and a Noctel. Well, hate to end on that note right there, so we'll just grab one more double pack real quick to see. Actually, we'll spice it up here. I've got these five dollar packs real quick. We'll just zip right through those real quick to see if we can't redeem ourselves here. Rhyhorn, Brasilia, Switch. These are courtesy of my mom. Every time she sees them in the dollar store, she grabs a couple for me. I appreciate it. She's one of our number one promoters for the channel she always doesn't hesitate to share on her group. she's a GameStop manager so she has some pretty good connections for groups gaming groups and different things I appreciate her And our last dollar pack here. All right. Well, that brings us to the end of the video. I appreciate. Oh. Well, that brings us to the end of the video. Well, I appreciate you guys stopping in and uh, checking out the video and seeing what we pulled. Too bad we didn't get too many good cards, but we have a full booster box of Darkness Ablaze coming up next week, and the ultimate card opening, which has 50 packs total um, to open up from random sets. So thanks for uh, watching the video, and have a great one.